Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are massaging up a lovely jar of French spa bath salts. As you might expect for bath salts, the majority of this formulation is a blend of salt. So it is primarily French sea salt, hence the French in the name, and I've also included some just regular kind of grocery store fine-grained sea salt and some Epsom salts. I've also included some dendritic salt, which is a kind of magic special salt that helps us incorporate some wet things, so some fragrance and then some polysorbate 80, so the fragrance solubilizes nicely into the bath water, but without causing the bath salts to turn into a bath brick. For this reason, I really don't recommend substituting out the dendritic salts. If you are experienced with natrosorb, that can work as well. Um, but yeah, do make sure you are including some kind of special ingredient that is designed to keep bath salts from turning into bath bricks. The scent for these bath salts comes from a new fragrance oil from Brambleberry's Salt of the Earth collection. That is where the Epsom salts and the French sea salts come from as well. And so it is the frosted sea glass scent. And to me, this scent is straight spa. Like pretty much as soon as I opened the bottle and took my first whiff, I was like, oh, it's like I'm at a gorgeous, expensive spa somewhere. It just, it smells fantastic. It's fresh and a bit green and just smells very luxurious. It's really, really nice. And so that's where the, the spa element of these bath salts come from. Making this very simple, I'm gonna massage the wet things in with the dendritic salts and then massage in the rest of the salts, spread it out to dry for a couple days to further reduce the chance of clumpy seasiness. And then that that's pretty much it. Pop it in a bottle and you're done. I think that is enough chat. As always, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. You'll find tons of great information there, including information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to buy all the ingredients and a whole lot more. And a quick thank you to Brambleberry for gifting me their salt of the earth collection. It's very much appreciated and I'm having a lot of fun playing with it. But yeah, let's go make some bath salts. We're going to begin by combining our dendritic salts, our fragrance and the polysorbate 80. So just gonna massage everything together. So in this dish, I already have 25 grams of dendritic salts. To that, I'm going to weigh in 2.5 grams of polysorbate 80 and 1.25 grams of our fragrance. So I'm using this frosted sea glass fragrance from Brambleberry. This is part of their new Salt of the Earth collection. This was a gift. And to me, it smells just like a spa. So it's just a perfect choice for this formulation, but you can definitely use anything else that you love that you would like your bath salts to smell like. Just gonna get in there with my gloved hands and massage everything together until we kind of have a nice uniform wet sand mixture. Once this mixture here is uniform, we are going to work in the rest of the salt. So we've got three different types of salt here. We're gonna start with 62 and a half grams of sea salt. This is just grocery store sea salt. 87.5 grams of French gray salt in velvet uh, kind of particle size. This is also from Brambleberry and this is really very cool. I've never worked with velvet salts before and it's just super, super smooth and soft. And then our last salt and our last ingredient is 71.25 grams Epsom salts. This is also from Brambleberry and also a gift. So once the mixture is uniform, we'll have a lovely sort of soft, slightly damp sand kind of feel to it. We're pretty much done with the making. So our next step is going to be uh, setting the salts out to dry. So I'm going to tap them onto this cookie sheet and kind of just spread them out a bit. And I'm gonna leave them to dry, just leave this cookie sheet sitting on the countertop. It's quite dry here in Calgary uh, for two to three days before we package them up. And this will help reduce the chances of the bath salts kind of seizing on us and turning into a rock hard lump in the container after we package them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go just put these 
over there and I will see you in two or three days. All right, so it has been about two and a half days. And so as kind of the time went on, the drying time, I did kind of come back and give the salts just a bit of a stir to make sure that you know they dried out nice and thoroughly and evenly. But uh, yeah, we are now ready to package these salts up. So the first thing I'm going to do is transfer them into a fairly large Pyrex. I find that going from cookie sheet to bottle is maybe a little ambitious. <laughs> so it's nice to have kind of a, a mid, mid-sized step here. Once you've got your bath salts in a sort of more pourable uh, container, you're ready to package them up. So I'm going to be using this 250 gram kind of apothecary style jar from Yellow Bee. This was a gift. You could kind of use any sort of jar that you think looks nice. I'm just gonna pop a funnel in there to make things a little bit easier. I've got a lovely jar here and I've got some leftovers. So I guess I'll have to take a bath tonight. Life's so hard. <laughs> and there we go. So we just made some really lovely French spa bath salts. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. You'll find heaps more helpful information in that post, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, links to places to buy all the ingredients and a whole lot more. Uh, to use this, just you know, add a tablespoon or four or eight or whatever you're feeling like to your bath and enjoy. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.